All right, I'm going to give you a quick review of my presentation setup for the house here. So uh, I'm excited to, to, to kind of review what's here. This is kind of a poor man's setup, and uh, I thought you might be interested in this on how I do these presentations. <clears throat> so I have a just a regular PC here. It's like a second gen i7, so there's nothing... Uh, it's not super fancy or anything, and, and this is all it does. And what I have connected to it is I have one monitor over there. It's actually a cheap TV. I think it's a 32-inch or something like that. <clears throat> Got on Amazon. Probably 100 bucks. It was maybe $120 or something like that. And then I have another monitor connected to the laptop as well. This is a Dell. This is the 21-inch um, touchscreen. And it has HDMI and a USB going that got uh, to the laptop for the touch screen all right that's set, that's set up and I got two um, cameras uh, that camera over there and that camera over there and uh, those two cameras are USB to this guy here and um, that's set up obviously this camera's pointing to this easel over here and I have a whiteboard over there and then that camera obviously is pointing to where I would be standing that's kind of my setup right there I just kind of stand right there and my view is that monitor right there and there's my touch screen right here and I also have a mouse that's connected um, to that as well so what do I use for this stuff so I get uh, obviously WebEx I got minicam software this gives you a video switching uh, capability, so I have multiple cameras, multiple camera shots, so I need that. And then I got WebEx. Now, I won't show you how to start WebEx or anything, you know how to do that. And then I just start my camera. Once I start my camera, uh, if I wanted to see how my camera is configured, I, you see it's configured to connect up to the Minicam virtual uh, webcam. So that Minicam then connects up to two and whatever I, and you'll see that in a minute. I'll show you that in a minute. But let's do that. And then let's share our screen. So the screen I'm going to share is number two, which is this screen right here. Okay, and if I look over there, you'll see that particular PC over there is connected. And it's uh, on a WebEx. It's a WebEx participant, right? And it's showing this, this particular um, screen here. So what do I want to do? Well, first I want to uh, get the right camera shot. So I'm going to transition to this shot where I am here in, in other words that camera pointing to me you know and then you can see over there that uh, that camera shot is me and then when I come back over here I'm gonna I'm sharing this screen I'm gonna bring up uh, PowerPoint here now this is kind of the weird thing I, I I played around with and and I like what I like here is when I go into presentation mode this is typically what we'd use. This is kind of the speaker notes. Everything's right here, and this is what I would be looking at, and that's what the audience is going to see, right? That's usually how you do it. <coughs> but I do it a little bit differently since I'm sharing this screen. I did that for a reason because I'm going to change my display. I'm going to swap my presenter uh, screen um, to be over there. Now, why did I do that? Okay, so now the camera angle the camera shot you can see over there I can say hi there the camera shot and when I where I'm looking I'm looking this way not only am I looking this way but my speaker notes are in front of me when my speaker notes are in front of me I can look at the camera or it appears that I'm looking at the camera and I can uh, uh, read or I have my uh, bullet points or whatever and then I can I usually kind of mess with this and give me a little bit more room in there so I can really have most of my notes right in front of me and you see I have the I also have the um, WebEx I pulled out that panel that video panel and I put it over there that's because when somebody's talking or when I'm talking to somebody um, I can look that way and if I get another active speaker on there that's gonna I, I'm gonna be looking it's gonna be a, it's gonna appear that I'm looking at them and not looking down or anything like that because I want to look at them so it's just kind of a you know just kind of playing with the angles and where you want to put the camera and stuff like that remember that camera usually goes over here but um, or, or the the video shot but I want to put the video shot right under my camera it's not obstructing anything because I don't care what the next slide is 
I really care what my speaker notes and, and, and what I'm going to speak to and how that's going to work. Now, over here, this is where I'm going to draw. So this is kind of a, a, a kind of working as a digitizer for me. And even though I'm speaking up here, when I need to draw something, I do have to look away and I do have to look down. But then this, this particular screen, you still have your pens and things like that available. So I don't have to cut away to a whiteboard or anything like that, to a, a WebEx whiteboard or anything. I, I can do and I can get points across right here. Not only that, but I can, you know, you can grab a, a $15 pen and if I need to write a little bit better, um, let me erase this right here. Or let me erase everything. But I got all these controls here. And if I need to write a little bit better, I can definitely... Oh, there, I got my eraser there. Sorry. I can uh, write a little bit better. And this is a little bit... You know, I get thinner lines and things in the, with my finger. So I can get some concepts. You know, draw some clouds. Uh, internet. Connect some routers there. So... And then not only that, if I do need a cutaway, if I'm looking at a particular, let's say I'm looking at a particular slide, you know, I can say, I'm, I'm, I can get the viewer's attention, and this is what I'm talking about here. And you can see that uh, that's coming out over there on the participants. Uh, and also, now I am looking down, but I can look up at them, and, and then I can also see... So I can go down here and draw, but when I look up, I also get my drawing on my left-hand side slide over there. So I can look up, not having to always look down. In fact, uh, you know, when I can start drawing down here, and then I can look up and I can kind of finish drawing. But those are just some little tricks that, that uh, you kind of got to get used to. The other thing, if I do need a whiteboard, and I do need to draw out, uh, PowerPoint does have that. I come right here. I can go to my screen. I can go to white screen right here. And then now I can draw a little bit more better. I can unobstruct it and I can draw some things out here. If I'm trying to get a, a concept across or something like that. It's very natural for me. The way this screen goes down like that. I really like that. Uh, and if, if I'm, <coughs> excuse me, if, I'm, if I don't have my pen in my hand, obviously I can, I can start doing this too and I can, uh, draw letters if I want to or whatever and then to go back I just uh, push one button and and then I'm back now if I do need to transition and I really want to use my my whiteboard over there which I like using I really like using a whiteboard um, all I have to do is transition the video okay remember the video we're on is this video right here and I, I that one there and I want to transition to this one so what I can do is I can come down here very easily and um, I can, somewhere here, it looks like I lost it, uh, show taskbar. So my taskbar, my windows comes up. I can choose my mini cam uh, right there and then I can transition. Now sometimes I'll pull this over and, and, and have it on that window over there. So I'll kind of do this right here. I didn't do that before so I apologize. Now I'm going to just pull that so it's over in this window. Okay, so when it comes up, it's on this window. That way my viewers, remember there, I'm sharing this screen. So that way my viewers don't get obstructed by that. So that's going to be over there when I pull it up. And then <clears throat> all I need to do is um, I can use my mouse if it's over there. I could uh, obviously use my, I could have stopped sharing over here and then use my my finger to do it but I like putting it over there and then I can transition and I'll pull that over here for now just so you can see it a little bit better what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna transition over to another camera angle and once I uh, transition to that camera angle I can kinda put that away and then you can see over there the participant now is looking at a different ca camera angle they still have the screen sharing but then they can pull that if they wanted to pull this up full screen you know I could do that or they could do that you know, doing something like that and do that. And now, all I have to do, right, is come right over here. And I can start drawing here. I'm on this camera angle right here. And you can see that uh, on my participants' uh, video screen over there, I'm here. And then I can, you know, and these aren't real good cameras. They're, they're HD cameras, but they're not real good. But the quality 
being this close I can't change camera angles now I can't just pull a camera across you know I really got to have another camera that's set up exactly right for my whiteboard and focused and things like that and then I can you know I can start doing my drawings and getting concepts across and things like that so that's kind of the setup that I have again very easy a couple of cameras laptop and a touch screen uh, sometimes I do have to use some USB uh, extension cables if I have this set up a little bit different I've tried some different things I like this the best or if I want a different background or something I'll kind of move around my room here uh, and get me a different background I actually had a, a pop-up background uh, that I really liked and I left it outside on accident um, and it got wet and uh, moldy and things like that so uh, that's it um, I went over the mini cam the presentation how we swap things again uh, this is this is I really like this because I don't want to be looking down when I'm talking to somebody and all my points you can see that they're there on the screen I'm looking at the camera and but I'm really looking right below and I'm reading you know or covering the points I need to and things like that and that really helps me stay focused now the only thing I don't like if I need to jump around um, uh, in my video or my presentation is I do have to bring the mouse up here and then um, go to that little icon right there and then maybe you know someone wants to see you know say hey go back to slide 13 or there was a slide you were doing something on um, and then I can pick that slide up now that slide then will come up on the screen that's being shared now and again I have all my tools over here um, uh, for uh, for uh, for doing anything the great thing is and this is invaluable I think this screen this white screen here um, that way you don't ever have to get out of anything you don't have to get into WebEx to draw you know be on a whiteboard or anything it's kind of a whiteboard inside PowerPoint and, and there's no transition at all I mean it's just a click you know two clicks and you're good to go so um, that's it I think that's all I wanted to cover um, other than you know Amazon you know ten fifteen dollars Amazon this was a little pricey I think it was like 249 it was kind of an ouchy you know to pay 249 for monitors not something I like to do uh, 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 I was actually gonna if I didn't like it I was gonna uh, sell it uh, but I really like it it took me a little while to kind of figure out how I was gonna do things at first I, I kind of ripped it out and didn't like it because I was trying to leave it at my desk but once I got this set up it's been really really good I like it I like standing and talking I think that's a better uh, way to give a presentation and then you know of course you know Amazon 20 bucks Amazon ten dollars this stuff you can find um, uh, anywhere and uh, you know a little tripod you don't even need a tripod if I had some other way uh, to get this now I like this this is kind of out of the camera angle or out of the camera shot so the, the, the camera shot you have here um, between you and your audience you kind of want this guy out of the uh, out of the camera shot when you transition you, uh, you transition here and then I just step over here and then I start talking uh, you know over here so um, a tripod is almost needed because you got to kind of angle it depending on your setup or your room size or whatever so that's it hopefully that's been helpful uh, thanks for watching